This video presentation illustrates programming the Evenheat Rantmaster control using the custom mode for glass firing. The custom mode is a programming method that allows the glass artist to determine all the firing details. For guidance on firing data, refer to the Rantmaster control manual, your glass supplier, or glass manufacturer. For this illustration, we'll program the Rantmaster for a slumping operation. Our example will include three firing segments. A segment is simply a combination of rate of temperature, the temperature you wish to achieve, and any hold or soak time at your desired temperature. Before powering up the kiln, place your glasswork into the kiln chamber and close the door or lid. Throw the kiln's power switch to the on position. The ramp master will begin to initialize and then display STBY. STBY stands for standby and simply means the ramp master is at rest and is not running any program. To begin the custom mode programming process, press the develop key. The display will read PROG. This stands for program and the ramp master is asking which of the 12 available program slots you would like to store your program. For this example, let's choose to store our program in program number 4. Type in 4. Press the enter key to store your choice. The ramp master is now asking for the number of segments you would like to use for this program. A segment is a combination of rate of temperature change, the desired temperature, and any hold or soak at the desired temperature. For our example, we want to use 3. Type in 3. Press the Enter key to store your choice. The display now reads RA1. The ramp master is asking for the temperature rate speed to be used in segment 1. Rate is programmed in degrees per hour. For our example, let's use 500 degrees per hour. Type in 500. Press the Enter key to store your choice. The display now reads degrees Fahrenheit 1. The ramp master is asking for the desired temperature to be reached in segment 1. For our example, we want to go to 1000 degrees. Type in 1000. Press the Enter key to store your choice. The display now reads HLD1. The ramp master is asking for the desired hold time at our segment 1 temperature. For this example, we'll hold at our 1000 degrees for 10 minutes. Hold time is programmed in hours and minutes. Values to the right of the decimal point are in minutes, and values to the left are in hours. Type in 10. Press the Enter key to store your choice. The display now reads RA2. Since we have programmed in all firing data for segment 1, the ramp master is now asking for our temperature rate to be used in segment 2. For our example, we'll use 500 degrees an hour to get to our slumping temperature. Type in 500. Press the Enter key to store your choice. The display now reads degrees Fahrenheit 2. The ramp master is asking for our desired temperature for segment 2. We'll go with 1215 degrees. Type in 1215. Press the Enter key to store your choice. The display now reads HLD2. The ramp master is asking for the desired hold time at our segment 2 temperature. We'll choose 15 minutes. Type in 15. Press the Enter key to store your choice. 
The display now reads RA3. As you may have guessed by now, the Ramp Master is asking for your temperature rate for segment 3. At this point in the firing, we're going to the anneal, so we want to go as fast as possible. To program as fast as possible into the Ramp Master, use 9999. So, type in 9999. Press the enter key to store your choice. The display now reads degrees Fahrenheit 3. The Ramp Master is asking for the desired temperature for segment 3. Since this is our annealing temperature, we'll choose 960. Type in 960. Press the enter key to store your choice. The display now reads HLD3. The Ramp Master is asking for the hold time at our 960 degree annealing temperature. We'll choose 45 minutes. Type in 45. Press the enter key to store your choice. The display now reads ALRM, which stands for alarm. You may set the alarm to sound at any temperature you'd like. For this example, we'll disable the alarm by typing in 9999. Press the enter key to store your choice. CPL is briefly displayed, followed by standby. Ramp Master Custom Programming is now complete and ready to fire your custom mode program. To begin the custom mode firing, press the Run Stop key one time and then press the Enter key. This video presentation is now complete. Evenheat provides a number of video presentations for our products. We invite you to visit evenheat-kiln.com for a complete listing. Thank you.